I'm Kyle Stabley, and you're watching Stabley Southern Outdoors, and this is how to clean a coon. I finally got the little chicken snatcher. Just like any other animal, you cut, cut them around his legs. Actually, if you want to, you can take your bigger knife and, and, and that or there, pop his legs or if you got some boat cutters do that but I'm just gonna do it this way I shot him with 30 30 that might have been a little bit overkill but it's the only gun I had on me at the time and you take and just cut him around his arms like you would a regular like you would a deer anything else just take and cut him around his arms on each side you can take that leg if you want to and break it but it's not wanting to break so easy. He, he's a tough old coon. Same thing with the other arm. I couldn't find my skin is set, so I had to use my regular everyday carry knife, and it's not very sharp. So, just like you would any other animal. Go around the arms. Try not to cut into the meat. Coon's actually real good eating. This one will be because he ain't been eating dead stuff. He's actually been eating corn. I've had him on trail camera for a while. So, take and get that skin. Same thing with the back legs here. You take and cut. And if you can, get your knife in there. Like that, and just cut them around. Try to keep as much fur off of the meat as possible. And, uh, excuse the background, I got somebody come look at the weed eater right now, and I'm making a video. But like I said, you just cut the leg like you would normally. Take your knife and you skin it out just like you would a squirrel, a deer, etc. You just take and cut around that back leg. And then you keep on cutting around until you get it where you can start cutting up. Be careful not to cut the meat of it. I got a dull knife, I could not find my skinning knife. You give me one minute, I'm making a video for my channel. <laughs> so you skin it like that, and you take your knife sideways and just run up the legs. And then you basically skin it out just like you would a deer. They're gonna have a smell to them. You got some scent glands that you wanna cut out. If not, your meat tastes very gamey. I'm just taking, cut that leg. Same thing with the other. Go in there with your knife. Straight up, like I said, a deer, squirrel, all the same. Make sure you don't cut the meat. Make sure that they connect. Come over here on this one. This is a raccoon has been killing all my chickens and ducks, and I finally caught them in a got got, caught them in a leg tra uh, in a hand trap. Okay. So I figured I'd shoot them and make a video for my channel. My, I ain't got a six percent, so I'm trying to hurry up. <laughs> Actually, this will be the first raccoon I've ever cleaned, but I watched enough videos, so I know I ain't got my sharp knife either. Uh, I guess I must have caught him today, because uh, I didn't see him there yesterday. So he smelled that egg. It probably got raw because it had no tuna, and uh, stuck his hand in there, and it was all she wrote. I've had coon dogs out here and everything. We try to shoot them. Shot at them three times with bear shot. 
Still couldn't get them. The old hand trap worked. I got a live trap over there. I threw uh, um, two of the quails he killed in it. And all that. But I uh, was basically like skinning the squirrel, skinning the deer. I got to get me a better recording equipment. I have to use my GPS for my cell phone holder to <laughs> show how to, how whatever puts it on the channel. Right. Trying to get the 5,000 subscribers and then I'm going to buy a brand new bow and do a giveaway. But and then once every 5,000, like once I hit 10,000, we're going to do a giveaway on a Browning rifle. Or I am. I'm going to have to buy it. But, Got a little messy. Maybe the third thirty was overkill, but it's only gonna had on me at the time. It's either that or the forty, so I figured uh third thirty would be better than bust them in the head with it. I don't have to put on like this video that is graphic. That way people know, hey, you know, he's cleaning a raccoon. My kids may not wanna see this. I use gloves so I don't get it all over me, but Basically, you take that and then you peel it. All right, well, I think a deer is a lot easier to clean than a coon is. He, he's pretty tough to clean. I'm trying to hurry up for my phone bag, he does. Yeah, I normally save them, but this one, I, I ain't gonna save this one. This one actually come from the female. He got loose, and I ain't been able to catch him since. Now, that's what you do. You basically pull it, and you may have to cut it right here. Yeah, the old toothpick. <laughs> I gotta figure out what I've done with my other knife. These ain't worth a crap here. Take that and you cut it down here. Cut the tail off. Basically, you can grab the leg. Well, normally, there we go, I broke that one. There we go. Try not to get none of that poop in there say that word because I try to keep my channel family friendly try to teach kids and all that I try to teach hunting fishing and survival and you cut the tail and basically take it and pull it all the way down until you pull that meat off not me, but that bird. <laughs> and that's basically how you clean a coon. I'm not going to show no more of the video because, I mean, I'm sure everybody knows how to gut them. This is Kyle Stabling. You're watching Stabling Southern Outdoors. This is how to clean a coon. Until next time, I appreciate your subscriptions. I appreciate your support. And God bless.